How to download iCommand Go for Mac, Windows, Linux. This tutorial will cover the official release and the developer release, also called the nightly build. The reason for nightly build is because we are at February 2024. The 3D stage support is not in the official build yet, so we are relying on a nightly build for that. If you come in from future and you probably want to download the official build. And here's a disclaimer, iCommand, iCommand Plus and iCommand Go are three different things. They are not the same. This tutorial only covers iCommand Go. Search iCommand Go GitHub as keyword. Usually it's the first record. And go into the iCommand Go GitHub page. And here is the GitHub page for iCommand Go. You can find all sorts of the information, even source code. But we don't care about the source code and we only care about the release. You click the release, not the version number. Click release. If you are from the future and the official release number is greater than this 0.99, you probably want to download the official release. And here is the download file which is called assets. You may also find other release type, for example, this 099-RC6, which means release candidate 6 which is not the official release. 0.99 is the official release. RC6 is a candidate for that release, but not necessary that release. RC6 is older than 0.99. And you search nightly when you are coming from the current. Okay, we search nightly and click this nightly build, which also called the developer build. This nightly build contains all the current bug fixes and the new features. It's just not been massively or properly tested. So sometimes they even call it unstable build. But this is the build we need for 3D stages. I will download the Windows version and download the Mac version. But for your information, so the Mac version doesn't support the 3D stage yet. By the way, iCommand need your system support OpenGL greater than 2.1. If your system never installed graphics card drivers, especially those uh, GPU inside your CPU or integrated graphics, you never install them, probably you will not able to run iCommand. If you never remember you installed the GPU for your CPU, I highly recommend you follow this tutorial and install the graphics driver for your CPU. If you are not sure which OpenGL version your GPU support, you can search something called the GPU Cap Viewer. If you never properly install the driver for your GPU inside your CPU or they call it integrated GPU, your OpenGL value or version will be either empty or very low value. For example, here is 1.1 and obviously 1.1 cannot run iCommand and not even OpenGL mode more than 1.1. After you install the driver properly, it will show just like this. So 4.6 is enough to run Pankinet already. So after you download these two files, you unzip. If you only use Windows version, you don't need to download the Mac version. If you are like me, both have Windows and the Mac, actually you can combine these two versions. Basically, you go to the Mac version and copy these two files to the Windows version. One is a Mac OS uh, binary file and another is a Mac OS launch uh, command file. So copy these two files to the Windows version folder. And that's it. You can delete the Mac folder already. 
For Windows user, to run the iCommand Go is super easy. You just double click this iCommand EXE. For Mac and Linux user, maybe it's a little bit complicated. I will show you now. On Mac or Linux, these two files are not executable by default. We need to use command line interface or the terminal to make these two files executable by the system. And search terminal and open a terminal window. In the terminal, we key in the command change mod chmod space a plus x and space and you drag in the file which will appear in the terminal as a absolute path and then you press enter and repeat the command again and drag in another file and press enter and now these two files become executable you double click the command the file will launch iCommand Go And by the way, the Mac version doesn't support 3D stage yet, 